Hey, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. My name is Robert and this is Pheasant Lane Farm. So, first thing, I want to apologize for the background noise or the wind uh, for being mid-December. It's almost 60 degrees today and just been pretty windy lately. Uh, I got a high school buddy over here. Uh, actually, he's in high school. Uh, a son of a buddy who's uh, doing some skid steer work for me. We about got the barn wrapped up and we've just been hauling in stone uh, non-stop. Also, we got a bunch of rain last night, so there's a big Generac generator, Generac? Generac generator running uh, some water pumps while he puts that stone down. So, finally had a break from using the trailer to do this video. I actually shot this video over a month ago and uh, some of the specs were off. And uh, I like to give everybody uh, the facts and then give my opinion at the end. So uh, hopefully if you're in the research phase, uh, you can make an educated guess uh, on your purchases. So let's go over this trailer real quick. This is my 2021 Diamond C Low Pro Dump. This is what they call their heavy duty model. Um, 14 foot long, 82 inches wide. This has two 7,000 pound Lippert spring axles, electric brakes, uh, obviously this is the bumper pull model. This has the uh, eight inch by 10 pound frame, five by two rectangle tubes. Uh, this just has the 10 gauge floor, and uh, we'll get into that in a little bit. This doesn't have uh, the seven gauge. This has 24 inch sidewalls, and then I added some true dimensional uh, two by 12 oak. Try to protect the sides there a little bit. Um, this has the 6 by 20 inch lift. Uh, this came with the 72 inch ramps. Uh, we'll get into that in a little bit. This has a three way gate. As you can see right now, it's kind of in the dump uh, mode. I just dumped a load with it and haven't even put it down yet. Uh, this is the metallic gray color. This has a 3 inch I beam on 12 inch centers. Now, real quick on that, um, I was kind of curious, so I put the safety up and I measured. These aren't 12 inch, but they're not the standard 16 inch. So I don't know if this trailer was just a little off, um, but I guess you could say, uh, I think it was supposed to be ordered with the 12 inch uh, on center spacings uh, for the cross members, but uh, it's not exactly 12. Um, this has the 12,000 pound jack. That was an upgrade. Uh, let's see here. This has the 10 ply 23580 R16 tires. Um, this did come with the spare tire mount uh, in the center in the front. I like that location a little better. Um, I did uh, purchase a spare tire for it. Uh, this has a 20 foot tarp, um, 14 gauge fenders, and uh, I think that's about it. Now, real quick. I bought this trailer October of 2020. Like I said, it was uh, model year 2021. I want to say I paid $78 or $7,900 before tax. Uh, I remember when I went to pick it up with the spare tire. Uh, I bought a, a coupler lock for it. I was $8,400 out the door. The base price on this trailer right now, according to Diamond C's website that I was on about six minutes before I started this video, the base on this trailer is $15,495. This trailer, with the options that I have on this trailer, um, again, I just built it and priced it through their website, $17,444. Now, if you're on some of the Facebook groups, um, some guys are complaining that Diamond C is pricing themselves out of the market. Jacob Crab got on and said, hey, from a year ago, we're only 48%, uh, we've only gone up 48%. Um, that's neither here nor there, but uh, if you would buy this trailer now, you're about 14.5, or excuse me, 17.5. It's a uh, 15.5 base model, and uh, I paid 8,400 out the door with uh, tax title, all that crap, a year ago. A lot of people ask me what dealer I go through. Um, the sticker right, where are we at? Right there. Pine View Trailers in Greenwich, Ohio. Good guys. Uh, we've now bought two trailers from them. I still have the uh, new 32 foot F Max to do a review on. Um, it was at Dad's farm for a while, and we're just really, really trying to get stuff done here. Get this barn done before winter. I got stalls done, concrete's done, garage doors went up yesterday. Um, trying to get cattle pens built. So we're just busy, 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 and I apologize. Uh, I wanted this to be the one year review on this trailer. I'm just uh, I'm about a month late 
on uh, getting this out. So, real quick, um, am I happy with this trailer? Yes, this trailer has been uh, a lifesaver for us around here to date. Um, actually, not to date, just this month. This is uh, my last way slip today. I hauled stone on Monday. Yesterday, they put up the garage doors. Gavin was out here moving stone. I didn't get any loads hauled. And then today, I hauled uh, more loads. So just to kind of give you an idea, I'm not bragging. I know there's guys out there that use these trailers a whole lot more than I do. Um, just this month already, I've hauled 102 ton of 304 limestone. That's kind of your uh, baseball size down. Uh, at least it's supposed to be. I got some kind of bad stone the other day. It was all sand. Um, so, but already this year with this trailer, I've hauled 195 ton of 304s. And that's not even the big stone we use around here. Uh, most everything on the farm, the pad for the building, what we refresh the driveway with. Um, we've cut in two new driveways. You can kind of see one there, right there. Uh, I like to use 411s. It's like gumball size down. I feel like it packs a little better um, for what I'm doing. And then most importantly, with a land plane, it seems to uh, finish off a little nicer. But uh, we're approaching 600 ton hauled with this trailer in the last year. Well, since we bought it. Um, yeah, I hauled 30.63 tons today. I had 33 ton on Monday. My goal is to get 200 ton hauled this week, but um, just issues. There's a new loader operator down there. There's been one loader operator down there when there's usually two or three. So a lot of times sitting around in the quarry this week, but uh, that's the way it goes. Can't do anything about it. But uh, yeah, just to show you, get my personal information up here. Not that anybody cares, but uh, today I hauled 30.63 tons, month to date 102, year to date 195 ton, and that's 304s and uh, 411s. I have the paper in the house. Um, since I've had this trailer, we're definitely approaching 600 ton of stone. Now, um, that doesn't count. I was buying logs from a logger uh, before I got hurt. So this trailer's probably had, let's see, I can figure I got about two and a half cord of log wood in here. Probably had 25 cord of wood in here. Um, that doesn't count before, you know, after we split it and then I was selling it, delivering it to people. That doesn't count um, all the screenings we've hauled. Um, compost, horse manure. We bought an old farm and we've just been cleaning it up. Um, old preacher farmer had it. And there's just a lot of scrap metal. So it's done numerous trips to the scrap yard, to the landfill. This trailer has definitely earned its keep around this place. Now to get back to that main question, am I happy with this trailer? Yes. <coughs> Are there some things that I don't like? Yes, primarily two. So uh, let's get into those. It's getting dark here, we've got a storm coming in. So I'm just gonna talk through and then I'll go back through and add some footage. Um, if you guys watched one of my video from months and months ago, up there is the crank for this trailer. Um, there's an eye bolt, you hook the eye bolt with a yellow rope or whatever it may be and you drag it to the back of the trailer. The problem is there's a latch mechanism, mechanism, I can't talk today, I got a sign this thing going on. The latch mechanism for the crank, you hold it up, There's, there's, it's not spring tension, there's nothing to hold it up. So you get about halfway back, that latch would fall down and stop you dead in your tracks. And that is a major source of frustration for me. Uh, I almost lost my right arm a year ago. So trying to accommodate my life to work mostly with my left hand and then to have stuff like that happen, so that was a big frustration for me. Um, I solved that problem. If you go to your dollar store, or Lowe's, any type of uh, hardware store, you can see, you can buy the magnetic, uh, I guess they're magnetic hooks. Just a round magnet with a little hook on it. Uh, guys use them in their, their wood shops or their garages to hang wrenches or whatever on sides of toolboxes. Um, whenever I'm gonna pull the tarp back, I lift that lever up, I drop that uh, magnet underneath there so it can't fall back down. When I'm done, I tighten it up, drop that magnet on the inside of the, I guess you'd call it the bulkhead up there, and uh, keeps it out of the way. Is it ideal? No. I know a lot of other trailers have springs on that lever, but um, that's kind of my biggest issue with this trailer. The most frustrating. Another issue I have with this trailer is, I don't know how I want to say this. <coughs> 
I like how the ramps store underneath the trailer. I don't like the door design. Now, it could be just me. Um, the, you have those rectangle doors on the bottom of the trailer. So you fold them down, you shove the ramps in, you put them back up. There's a linch pin that goes in that's hooked to a wire. I don't know if, uh, and they have grease zerks on them, on the hinges. I don't know if my hinges were welded right, but um, I can never get these doors down. I can't get them back up. They get full of debris. It's almost like they should have welded some uh, a shroud over top maybe. But um, it's so bad that, number one, the linch pins never even fit. Um, even with a hammer, you couldn't, you couldn't get them in there. The doors just never really closed up nice and tight. So uh, I cut off the linch pins that came on. I had to go buy smaller linch pins. And uh, you can't see it now, but the, the steel wire is just hanging there. But it's so bad now that uh, the last months, I don't even use the ramps in the back of this trailer. On the bottom, I should say. If I do have to run the Kubota over to dad's farm or this, that, and the other, I will just I would rather throw the ramps underneath the tractor, run a ratchet strap over them, and uh, be done with it. I like the idea how they're out of sight, out of mind. They're stored underneath the trailer. A lot of companies will hang them on the side, you know, and then they're just out in the weather. It's easy, you know. A lot of people steal ramps. Um, so it's just, uh, it's been a headache for me. So uh, now with the F-Max, I probably don't need to even use the ramps with this trailer, but it is nice to have. One other thing, this trailer came standard, uh, if you can see them, with the four D-rings in the corner. Now, they do catch up a little bit of stones uh, or dirt, and that's not a big deal. Uh, it is what it is. The problem I have is if I take stuff to the landfill and I dump this trailer, um, a lot of times it's hard to believe how much stuff will get caught up on that bottom d-ring i went to landfill one time we were doing some kind of fall cleaning and cleaning out a shed that was on the property when we bought it there was like an old dresser in there that dresser and I, when i loaded it i was conscious all right leave everything away from these d-rings i don't want to get anything hung up on the way to the landfill stuff must have shifted and uh, the dump trailer was all the way up and nothing would come out. So uh, also very frustrating. Um, if you have another flatbed and you're using this just to haul aggregates, materials, sand, stuff like that, I'd probably just go ahead and cut the D-rings out. <coughs> but uh, I guess that's neither here nor there. That's just my opinion on this trailer. Um, let's talk about the Diamond C diamond coating. Um, it has been holding up better than I anticipated it would. Now, you can see the inside of the trailer. Part of the reason I, led, I left this up. Um, it's starting to show some wear. Now, I want to say it really didn't have any wear until about the last 150 ton out of, out of uh, the almost 600 we've hauled. I thought it was going to be scratched up and nasty the first time we used it. And uh, I have to say, I'm really impressed with their powder coat system. Um, <coughs> excuse me. This weather here has been 60 degrees and dropping onto 20 at night, and uh, my allergies are driving me nuts. But um, I will say the bottom of the trailer is rusting um, more than I thought it would, being the top held up so well. I've called two Sherwin-Williams stores trying to get touch-up paint. They say they don't even have any records of Diamond C, and I understand that you have to go to an automotive store. I sold automotive paints uh, for a DuPont dealer for years, so I understand not every dealer is gonna do the aerosols. Um, I've called around multiple stores. I called the store that the one store told me to call, and no one has an idea. So Diamond C, I would like to get some touch-up paint for this trailer. I'm in Northwest Ohio. I believe this is metallic gray. I'm willing to pay for it. I like my stuff to stay nice. And uh, I mean, I know it's a filthy trailer right now, but uh, it's had 12 loads of uh, out of the quarry this week, so it is filthy. But I would like some touch-up paint. Also, that's the main reason I ordered my F-Max. Uh, Dad and I ordered that trailer. The same color as this one is so I could have touch-up paint. So I guess that's just a little pet peeve of mine too. Uh, no one has any idea about touch-up paint. The stickers on this trailer are, uh, it's a sticker, I'm not that worried about it. But uh, one of the stickers is really starting to bubble and just kind of get brittle and break. 
Um, one of the other issues with this trailer, I noticed about a week ago. Um, I ran this trailer through the car wash. Um, they put salt down. I just don't like to drive my stuff in salt. It's bad enough that I'm always going uh, into limestone quarries. And uh, I opened the lid and I reached down. I put my arm on the spare tire and I reached down. And uh, I haven't even washed the trailer yet. And I was like, the front spare tire, the paint looked like it had liquid in it. So I, I touched it and the uh, the paint on the spare tire is just totally delaminating and I touched it with my finger and it just broke into a bunch of pieces. So now I'm going to have to uh, take that to a tire shop, have them take the wheel off, uh, take the tire off the wheel, go pay somebody to powder coat that because I know my family owned trailer dealerships, as soon as those things start rusting, uh, you're in for a world of hurt. Luckily, the four tires uh, on the axles are not rusting or delaminating yet, so I'm not sure what it was with the spare tire, but uh, I'll put some footage of that up here. It was very weird. It was like you could rub your finger around it, and it wasn't cracking right away, and then all of a sudden it just poof. So um, I think the primer is still on the tire, but the, the paint is delaminating from the primer. And that's not a diamond seat issue. I understand that. That's all third party stuff. But uh, hey, I'm just letting you know every little thing about this trailer. Um, let's walk around, get you some views of this bad boy. And uh, if anything else pops into my mind, I'll let you know. Yep, that's not good. I get a lot of questions. Uh, some guys have watched my videos and end up ordering Diamond C trailers. They ask about the cycle time. Now, this trailer isn't super fast. The only thing I have to compare it to uh, is the two dump trailers the neighbor has by a different company. Now, I understand you could probably get a little faster cycle time if you go um, with the uh, telescoping cylinder in the front. Scissor lift isn't known to be super fast, but this one has done everything that I've asked it to do. With that being said, one time it would not dump a load. And I mentioned this in my other video, I'm not going to hide it. Um, a loader operator put 7 ton in the box. This trailer is, rode, is rated, excuse me, this trailer is rated for 14,900. So uh, that's well over the capacity. Safely, I can have 10 ton in the box of this and uh, no problem. I've had times where I was closer to 11,000 in the box. It dumped it, no problem. Um, just because it fits in the box doesn't necessarily mean you should try and dump it or haul it down the road. Um, a lot of guys forget that uh, there's a lot of components that uh, take the weight pretty hard. Tires, axles, springs, all that stuff. But real time, we are going to drop this trailer down and uh, we'll make sure it's all the way up. Go up. All right, it's all the way up. We'll come down. Should take uh, about 60 seconds if I remember correctly, maybe a little quicker. So that's 42 seconds going down. Uh, up is about the same. A little slower if you got a load in it. Uh, I was a little off from what I remembered. But uh, that's that. So let's walk around a little bit more, talk to you about a few more things uh, I like and don't like. All right, so the only actual mechanical issue I've had with this trailer is the onboard charger right there. It has a port built on the other side. You can just uh, back it up next to your house or your shop or your garage and plug it in. And uh, that is a battery and alternator, alternator conditioner tester. It has a button there on the left, that little circle next to the red bar. And, um, you know, it shows you if it's charging from the truck, whatever it may be. This summer around June, I went to use a trailer and <laughs> nothing. And it was plugged up to the house all night long. 
So I unhooked that charger, hooked up an actual battery charger to the battery, and it worked fine. A few days later, I decided to hook that charger back up. Because it was testing fine, uh, my dad came and looked at it. And I don't know what the issue is, it just did not want to charge the battery. Actually, when it was hooked up, it would drain the battery completely. I figured there was some kind of short on the inside. And uh, I called the dealer, and they said, you know, bring it down. I got down there. I told them, hey, it tests okay, but something's not right. And uh, I'm not saying they tried to give me the runaround, but they said, well, we really don't want to replace it because there's nothing wrong with it. I said, I understand that, and I told you that on the phone before I drove down here two hours. Um, I wouldn't have drove 20 or two hours for a $35 part, except they asked me to come down and they'd take a look at it. So uh, they threw a new one on. It's been working fine ever since. Like I said, I don't, um, I'm not an electrical guru but I believe there's some kind of short on the inside because there's no way it should uh, be charging from the house. All the lights were load, lit up saying it was charging and then you, as soon as you unhook it from the extension cord, uh, there's not even enough power to make the pump click. So that's been my only real mechanical issue on this trailer. All right, that's gonna wrap up the one year review, plus a couple weeks of the 2021 Diamond C Low Pro Dump LPD. Like I said earlier, this is a 14,900 pound gross vehicle weight rating. The sticker on the side says the trailer weighs 4,200, so safely, five ton, you're good to go. I have a video showing what five ton in a dump trailer looks like. I got a couple buddies, actually Gavin, that's here moving stone, works at a quarry with his uncle, and they'll have guys with half ton pickup trucks, and uh, it must be dinner time, the horses are going wild. Half ton pickup trucks and dump trailers come in and get mad when they don't load it to the brim. You will destroy one of these trailers. Five ton of stone is not very much. Uh, and I saw a picture floating around the internet, you don't know how true that is, uh, of a new truck just basically split in half at a quarry. So know what your payloads are, know what you're putting in it, know not necessarily just the trailer, know what the truck is capable of hauling. Uh, with my setup, I can haul 10,000 in the box and do just fine. And like I said earlier, I've had 11,000 in, or I've had, uh, yeah, 10,000 pounds, five ton, and I've had, you know, five and a half ton in there, and we're still good to go. Loaders uh, aren't 100% on their cat scales. So, I get asked all the time a couple different things. Number one, will a half ton pickup truck pull this trailer? It'll pull it uh, until you get a load on it. And I'm not going to tell people what to do with their own trucks, uh, because everybody knows that's a giant fiasco. But it's not always pulling it, it's the stopping it. And like I said, know what your gross vehicle weight ratings are, know what your gross uh, combined weight ratings are, and just be safe. It's not worth uh, you getting into an accident, realizing you're at fault and uh, getting criminally charged over stuff. Uh, all right, the next question is, would I buy this trailer again? That's a two-part question, or two-part answer, I should say. Knowing all the work that this trailer has done on this farm next to the Kubota tractor we bought when we bought this old farm, this is my most important piece of equipment. Uh, obviously, I don't count a good pickup truck because I think everybody should have one of those. But uh, next to the tractor, if it wasn't for this trailer, I don't think this farm would be along uh, as far as it is. And uh, just knowing that, hey, you wake up one morning, I need to go haul 40 ton of stone, you can do it. I've had trucking companies where I've made deals with and uh, they end up, you know, it's just not working out you're on somebody else's schedule and then you know you tell them where to drop it and it gets dropped in the middle of the driveway and it's just uh it takes me longer to haul stone like i said five and a half ton at a time but uh i do it on my terms and i put it where i want it um with the firewood and the cleanup um using this trailer as a dumpster has saved us so much money when we first moved in i called and ordered a 40 yard dumpster i said hey it was a friday i said i'll call you it'll probably be finished tomorrow they were open on Saturday I said if I call you come pick it up and drop me another we're ready to get this place moving getting it cleaned up and uh, that dumpster sat in my driveway for their whole 10 or 14 day period they run it out for I called them every day and I was fed up I was like you know what I could have rented 10 dumpsters by now and just filled them my brother was on the tractor with the grapple I had people here Let's just go, go, go. A couple hours, we could have a big dumpster cleared up. Uh, stuff we found in the woods and old sheds. And um, they just, they don't want my business, I guess. So knowing that on the weekend, I can load this up. My wife uh, hates clutter. She's always throwing stuff out. Sometimes I'm surprised I even have clothes at the end of the day. <clears throat> 
but knowing that I can, you know, we can do some spring or fall cleaning, load up the trailer, and then Monday, uh, just run it in and dump it. Um, the second part of that answer is knowing what these trailers are going for right now. That's a lot of moolah, baby. That's a lot of money. Um, like I said, I can't remember exactly what I paid for this trailer. Um, but out the door, I remember I gave them 84 $100 bills. Uh, and that included the taxes, the spare tire, and the coupler lock that I lost. But we'll get into that some other time. And uh, the coupler lock was like 60 bucks, and the spare tire is 280 so or 200 something like that but knowing now that base price on this trailer is 15.7 or whatever i said earlier i don't have the uh well i actually i do base on this trailer is 15495 and outfitted like it is now 17444 without tax the trailer's ten thousand dollars more than i paid for it 14 months ago that's a lot of money but um I would like to have another one someday, but I won't buy such a heavy duty one. Uh, I'd like to get back into renting them out or our business back up, but that's the way it goes. Just minor road bumps in life. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope uh, some guys say that I talk too much, but they appreciate it. I try and give you all the facts I can. And, uh, but man, I don't know. If I had to go buy one of these trailers right now for $17,000, I think it'd be a hard pass. But I don't know. Diamond C said they've only gone up 48%. Uh, my dealer says that's been a little more than that. So I don't know. You guys do the math. It's been a while since I've been in a business class. So, all right, guys, I'm going to uh, go get kiddo some dinner, get dinner on for my wife gets home, try and be a good husband. You know how that goes. Uh, looks like Gavin's up there finishing up and uh, go see how much stone he got spread today. So thank you, everybody, for watching. As always, I appreciate your support. Uh, last year has been kind of rough on us. So. Well, that's that. I'm going to try and haul uh, more stone tomorrow and Friday. And uh, we're having our family Christmas here on Saturday. Or no, next Wednesday. And uh, when you have uh, nurses in the family, you got to kind of uh, work around schedules. But like to like to have Christmas in the barn. I promised Kittle that that would happen this year. And I'm not going to lie to a seven-year-old. So, all right, guys. Take care. As always, God bless. Make smart decisions. And we will catch you on the next one. And no, that's not the new Diamond C. That's like a 1995 Steiger. But she's held her own after all these years. Take care.